There are a number of videos on the internet regarding don't leave your pet or your kids inside your car on a hot summer day. I decided to try a little bit of a different experiment. Normally what I see in these videos is that people go into the car and then they put a thermometer in there and then they put a camera inside, they close the car door, they lock it off, and no one stays inside. I'm going to stay inside the car when we do this experiment today so I get to feel some of the effects of sitting in this extreme heat. Come on along and let's see how this works. Even though it's 29 degrees Celsius outside today, it's already much hotter on the car surface. We're already up to 43 degrees Celsius right now. Okay, that's it. I'm locking myself in. Now you notice I'm actually using a cooking thermometer here and it's also got a handy timer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start that timer so we can just see how the temperature increases over time. And we'll just monitor that from time to time. You can see it's about 41 degrees Celsius in the car right now. Now I'm gonna be bored just sitting here the whole time waiting for this space to heat up. So we're gonna try a little science experiment. I just brought a little frying pan and I'm just gonna stick that on the dashboard. I'm gonna grab an egg and we're gonna crack it in and we're gonna see whether it gets hot enough on the dashboard of this car to cook an egg. This is my egg, of course, and I'm just gonna crack it and hopefully not make too much of a mess in the car as I do this. Cracking an egg on the dashboard. And we'll just pop that in there. And I'm just gonna turn the pan around a bit so we can check in on that a little bit later. And that's uh, just two minutes in the experiment. I put that egg in the frying pan. Okay, I'm only three minutes into this experiment so far and I am already starting to sweat and feel the effects. It's a matter of circulation and I don't have any circulation in this car. And uh, I'm really feeling this, I'm telling you. It's getting humid in here as well. Um, I'm not crazy though. I have brought water with me so I'm not gonna die. Well, we're a little bit more than five minutes into this experiment. It's not getting overly hot in the shade of the car, but on the dashboard, look what we're up to. What is that? 53 degrees Celsius already. To do beef rare, you only need 60 degrees Celsius. We're already up to 55 as we talk. Some people like their beef rare, so we're getting kind of close. Well, I have to admit there's not much to report on the egg. I don't even know whether it's getting warm. Let's feel here. Well, you know what? It's not hot by any stretch of the imagination, but I won't kid you, it's no longer refrigerator temperature. It's definitely at room temperature. We've actually reached 60 degrees Celsius on the dashboard. I'm starting to really sweat here and glisten a bit. So that would mean that right now my hand is sitting in 60 degrees Celsius temperatures, and that's enough for the internal temperature of beef to be rare. And like I say, you could serve my hand up as rare beef. Okay, we're not even quite at the 10 minute mark yet, and I gotta start drinking some water. I feel like I'm sitting in a desert right now. And you notice that just as we pass the 10 minute mark, we've gone past rare and we're now up to medium rare, 63 degrees Celsius. This is not the surface temperature of the dashboard. That thermometer is actually in the air above the dashboard. So this is air temperature at the dashboard. We may not get the results we want with the egg. We just go down here and have a look at the temperature gauge. Well, we're only really around 47 degrees and eggs don't really cook until it's like 63, 64, 65 degrees Celsius. So this egg may not in fact cook at all. Okay, it's about 15 minutes in right now and I'm starting to sweat so much that I'm actually dripping sweat on my pants off my arm. It's so heavy in sweat. Now the point of this video was to talk about how hot it gets in a car, but you know how long it takes to shop in a shopping mall? 20 minutes is like nothing. I mean, you can be standing in the lineup going to check out for 20 minutes. So it's exactly these kinds of situations, these unexpected times when you're gonna be longer than you thought you were gonna be. So you can imagine when you're in the middle 30s, low 30s, how hot and how quickly a car can get hot like this. That dashboard is running at 63 to 64 degrees Celsius right now in the air, not the dash, the air above the dashboard. That means the air inside here has got to be getting heated up from that air. I've been only here for a little bit more than 20 minutes and I'm dripping sweat all over the place. You can see it's getting just a little bit ridiculous. Whenever I move around to set up a new camera shot to record more of this stuff, I fling water all over the inside of the car, sheer perspiration. And that's only from sitting in this car for 20 minutes. Check this out. The egg around the edges is starting to cook. Look at that. It's gotten that hot in the pan where it's starting to cook up a little bit. And we're 23 minutes in. I'm gonna try and hang in until the 30 minute mark and then I gotta get out of here. I can't take this much longer. At the 26 minute mark, we're coming up to 66 degrees Celsius air temperature on the dashboard. We've long gone beyond medium rare. I'm sitting here trying to remember when I've had this feeling of intense humidity and heat before. And of course, it's a Swedish sauna. So let me ask you this question. Would you consider going into a store in an air conditioned mall while you left your child or your pet in a Swedish sauna for half an hour? Is that something you would seriously consider doing? 
My egg, meanwhile, continues to cook along a little bit. There's been no great dynamic changes since we saw all that wonderful live action happening a moment ago. And as we come up to 27 minutes in, it's kind of stabilized again. I don't see much else new that's happening. Well, I said I'd take it to 30 minutes, and look what's happened here. We've reached 69 degrees Celsius on the dashboard. We are very becoming very close to the medium portion of cooking beef. So a beef rib roast or a beef steak medium done would be at 71 degrees Celsius. We're at 69 degrees Celsius and I got five seconds to go on this thing oh my god I've pretty much had it I think and there's my half hour mark and I am getting out of here I can't do this anymore holy moly oh. okay so after 30 minutes in there we reached 69 degrees Celsius, 69 degrees Celsius. That's only half an hour. Imagine if you left somebody in that car or your pet in that car for 45 minutes or an hour. I was to the point in there where I was completely drenched in sweat and what's more, I was cooking an egg on the dashboard. So clearly that's not the situation that you want to put any loved one in your pet, your kid. Well, that's it. I guess the moral of the story is don't do this. Even with a crack in the window at the back, you've got temperatures in here which are massively, massively high and you're gonna cook somebody. Please be careful this summer when you're in a heat wave or even when you're not in a heat wave, just an average hot summer day. Don't leave your pet in the car and please, for goodness sakes, don't leave your small child in the car, really for any length of time. Just take them with you.